Just in time for the holidays comes the Advent Calendar, a French horror film newly released on Shudder. While this little croissant isn't without its issues, it does make for a horror film worth watching. Welcome back to M.L. Miller Frights. I'm M.L. Miller. Before we begin, please do me a favor and punch that like button down below. Share this video with all of your social media addicted pals. Click subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for notifications. C2E2, aka the Chicago Comics and Entertainment Expo, is going on this weekend beginning Friday, December 10th and running through the weekend until Sunday, December 12th. I'm going to be there in Artist Alley peddling my wares at table H12. I'll be signing and selling this exclusive pirouette poster of Carlos Granda's excellent cover of Pirouette Volume 1, as well as Pirouette, Grave Trancers, and M.L. Miller Frights buttons. I'll also have copies of my own comics to sign and sell, so if you're at the show, please look for me in Artist Alley, stop by, say hi, and pick up some merch. See you then. The Advent Calendar, a.k.a. Le Calendrier, is new streaming on Shudder. It's directed and written by Patrick Ridremont. Eva, played by Eugenie Durand, is paralyzed from the waist down after surviving a car crash. While she was an accomplished dancer, Eva now stays fit swimming and palling around with her vapid bestie, Sophie, played by Kate McKinnon lookalike Honorine Magnier. Sophie swipes an advent calendar from a street vendor and gives it to Ava on her birthday, which happens to be at the beginning of December. This advent calendar looks to be an antique, an intricately made puzzle box, which comes with some very specific instructions. Once opened, you must open all doors in the calendar. You must eat all of the chocolates in the calendar. Once begun, you cannot stop or throw away the calendar until the 30 days are over. Ava and Sophie laugh off these ominous rules and begin opening the doors every day. But Ava soon finds that the calendar's predictions seem very real, causing real-world changes. Teasing it can heal her paralyzed legs and wiping out all obstacles in Ava's way. Now, Ava must open every door in hopes to walk again, no matter how many bodies pile up in her wake. The Advent Calendar is a familiar premise done well, it's basically about a cursed object promising to grant the wishes of its new owner, but with a diabolical cost. It's the monkey's paw concept, and it's done well, as Patrick Ridremont is able to make us care for Ava's plight, despite the fact that she's basically murdering people to get her problems solved. It's a tricky moral dilemma, and one that could lead the viewer to dislike the protagonist, but somehow Ridremont is able to make Ava likable and worth following for most of the film. As Ava begins to understand what opening the calendar means, though, it does become much harder to sympathize with her. She's basically killing for a selfish reason. It's understandable to want to walk again, but to regain that ability by murdering all of your closest friends and relatives is quite a lot for the audience to buy. Had Ava lost a child or a loved one and was using the calendar to get them back, it's much more of a believable motivation for Ava to fly off the deep end but Ava seemed to be doing pretty okay in the wheelchair. She met a nice guy, swam at the gym, had friends, and had a dog. It just doesn't feel like Ava's life was as bad enough to kill to get out of. I feel the folks behind the advent calendar owe a lot to Clive Barker's Hellraiser of all films, as the calendar itself is basically a different kind of puzzle box. As Christy did in Hellraiser, Ava slowly opens the box, summoning a demon from another dimension that grants her wishes and doles out horror to those around her. Even the look of the calendar demon, referred to as Ich or I in German, harkens back to a some kind of lost Cenobite with its strange, dark leather garments and deformed face. It truly is a scary look, and one that makes for a memorable monster. There's one particular scene where Ich emerges from the canal that is horrifying, yet somehow the monster makes it all look majestic as hell. The advent calendar is not without its issues. I think the film is overlong, as it depicts every day of the month with Ava opening a new door containing some kind of message and a treat that involves her dilemma. 
I feel the film sort of runs out of steam by the third act when the days begin flying by. 31 Tragedies is a tough thing to do with consistency in one movie, but since this is about a calendar, it needs to fill that quota. The way Ava deals with the end of the month is fun, yet seemed to be a rather trite and tidy solution, considering all of the horrors Ava endured and caused. The film also has some pretty despicable characters other than Ava, including her supposed best friend Sophie, who steals Ava's blind date and then leaves town as Ava deals with the ramifications of the calendar she gave her. Later, Sophie has sex with said blind date guy while Ava is in the next room, which is a pretty horrible friend. There's also a very distasteful date rape scene that seems to go by without any lasting effects on Ava, though the rapist is eventually murdered. The Advent Calendar is a great looking movie. It's got lush production values, and it seems quite a bit of thought and money was put into it to make everything look and feel as big budget as possible. Sure, it's basically wiping out lives to a theme, a la Seven and its ripoffs, or the multitude of holiday movies utilizing the same kind of themes, but it does so with a new cursed object and has enough inventive kills to pass as decent, yet morbid entertainment. I wasn't bowled over by this film, but the advent calendar checks off all of the horror boxes with style, even though some of those morals of the story are quite off track. That'll be it for today. Please chime in down below in the comments and let me know how on the nose or mind-numbingly wrong I am, or you can counter with your own review. So guys, you know how YouTube works. I'd love to be able to dedicate more time to this channel. I'm not monetized yet, so if you want to help me out, remember to hit all the pertinent bells and whistles down below. Want some spooky comics to read? I have two new horror comic book trade paperbacks you should look out for. Both Grave Trancers and Pirouette, collecting never-before-published issues, can be found in only the finest of comic book shops. If you're looking for written reviews, you can find them on my website, mlmillerwrites.com. If you really want to show your support, I also have a Patreon page, at mlmiller. Look for the link to my Patreon page down below. Thank you so much for your time, and take care. Stuck inside your reality You're doomed Oh, you're doomed You're Yeah.